Well, what if you had to make a decision? Buy food for your kids, pay the bills, or go to chemo? That was a reality for a local woman until today. And 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith shows us how one woman got the lifeline she needed in the form of four wheels. You know, sitting in this chair, getting a car for the first time, uh, that's always exciting, but it was especially exciting today for one woman because she had made the decision not to replace a car, not to go to chemotherapy treatments because she had other bills to pay. Now, thanks to the hard work of a few good people, well, that's changing. Okay, <laughs> just let me be the big car, baby. <laughs> that happiness bubbling over, that's the reaction because Thais Wallace was just handed the keys to this Saturn, bought off the Masters Auto Sales lot at a discount by a group of charities. This, see? Beautiful. This will get me and my, I got two kids, so this will get me and my two kids around, get me to my appointments. As Wallace shows us her new ride. It's an amazing thing. James Craven is beaming with pride. He's part of Alex's arcade, the folks that made this possible. You see, his son just turned 20. They began their nonprofit because of their own battle when he was diagnosed with cancer at just 12 years old. We've actually had somebody donate a car to our family when we were when we were in need of a car, when we didn't have reliable transportation. I don't know who that donor is, so if you're out there, thank you. All right, there we go. So while some may take a vehicle for granted, Wallace, after months of making tough decisions, she doesn't. He go to work and get the bills paid, or do I take the car and go here? So I, I told, I called Kaiser and said, hey, I'm just having trouble. So I missed quite a few appointments, and it was like really rough because that's my lifeline. Now, because of a car on this lot, she won't have to ignore that lifeline. It means everything. The whole thing means everything to me. If you'd like more information on any of the groups that were involved in today's donation, today's empowering news, we've got them all listed for you right now over at WXYZ.com. We're in Roseville. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.